This is Project Ila Slevi 2019. Six inexperienced skiers from Visma in Finland, Sweden and Norway will train for three months with the help from professional ski trainers. The goal is to complete the 70km Visma Ski Classics race Ila Slevi on the 13th of April. This is the final episode. Hi, Project Ullas Levy participants. You have just tested your skis for tomorrow's big race day. Uh, first of all, Nicola, I would like to ask you, what are your feelings now, a day before the race? Uh, I'm not going to lie, I've never been this nervous in my life. <laughs> so I'm finding it hard to consume enough food. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm excited, but nervous. Okay, what about you, Patricia? Same for me actually, uh, but I feel quite good. The body's in good shape. Uh, the last week I've been um, doing some calm sessions. So uh, just rest, eat and um, preparing for the race tomorrow. So I feel good. Okay, that's great. Uh, what about you, Anne? Uh, how have the final weeks of your practice and preparations gone? Uh, last week I have uh, relaxed and uh, load my energy batteries. My coach said that I can eat pasta, so I, I have eaten pasta <laughs> the whole week. <laughs> That's a lot of pasta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Mikael? Yeah, the same for me. Uh, I've been relaxing and been eating all that I wanted to eat at that time. So I've been uh, stuffing up with uh, lots of energy and the, weeks, the week before that, I had a good uh, good week with good training sessions. So, uh, yeah, eating really, <laughs> the last week at least. <laughs> That's good. Um, ben, what have you learned during this whole training thing? What was the most significant learning for you? Well, uh, there's a lot, but uh, well, looking back now uh, into the first sessions, I have to say like, skiing technique, it was I was a one-man carousel or circus in the beginning, <laughs> but now uh, it's it's or it's improved a lot. So that's probably the one. Yeah. And you, Monica, what was the most significant learning for you? Uh, I will have to say skiing technique as well. I haven't learned as much as I hoped for, but uh, it's really interesting to see how far you can go if you are dedicated. So it, and all the people around that have supported, it's have been great. Let's go! Congratulations for finishing the uh, Ullas Levi race, 70 kilometers of skiing behind you. And not just that you finished it, but you did an amazing job and, and were actually really quick today. Can you tell us about your day? How did it all go and how did you experience the race? <laughs> oh, the day in total and the race has been a really roller coaster, uh, emotional, uh, and uh, it started pretty well. I, I, really good grip at the beginning and for some reason after 30k I started to lose my grip um, but then again <laughs> at the end of the race the grip was perfect and it was like our coach uh, said before uh, the race we had to compromise on on um, on the clister and on the on the grip so uh, that worked pretty well actually <laughs> it did uh, I was so tired <laughs> obviously uh, but I'm so happy uh, with my time uh, and when I saw the finish line, uh, suddenly all this power came from nowhere. Uh, so I felt like a clabo at the, the last uh, two meters, maybe. Yeah, uh, crazy experience. Uh, fantastic. Um, yeah, it was uh, early morning, of 
course, and then uh, trying to eat as much as possible. Then, uh, yeah, on the tracks, try to go uh, conserve, conservative on a pace in the beginning because I had no idea how uh, how it's gonna get then in uh, later. So, uh, but I'm really happy. It was a great day, and uh, yeah, amazing. It seems to go pretty well for you. Uh, did you face any challenges along the way? Uh, yeah, uh, hitting the 50 kilometers mark. That was uh, 10 next kilometers after 50 kilometers. That was uh, that was a nightmare. <laughs> my uh, body was uh, yeah screaming, but then managed to build myself together and uh, finish on a, on a high. Thank you. Uh, race day was uh, excellent. First, I think think that uh, I have to look at my heart rate and uh, I go the slowly and uh, and uh, then then everywhere everywhere was people and I, I go fast <laughs> so the, my skis was a little bit slippery about five kilometers and then we go uphill and uh, something happened my skis works very well but about 13 kilometers I have Again, problem with my skis, but there was Janne, and Janne helped always. <laughs> so, so I can can that he he walks my skis, and then uh, I go and go and go, and now I'm here. <laughs> the finish line again. <laughs> Yes, I think it actually went fine. I was expecting really high uh, hills at the beginning. That's what we'd planned for. But I think Norway, we're quite lucky. We have many hills to train on, so I wasn't too surprised. But then uh, the last, the, the really steep hill at the end, that that killed me because that was uh, past the 50 kilometer mark, and that's as far as I've ever skied. <laughs> yeah, uh, had some expectations for the race. Uh, and I think during the race it was really tough uh, compared to uh, Vasaloppet, for example, uh, which I finished five weeks ago. So this, this race is much, much tougher, uh, but really fun to finally pass the finish line, actually. So it was uh, really impressive for me. Well, it was a really great achievement. Was there any particular challenges along the way? Yeah, it was. Um, the hills, the, the, the mountains. Uh, I, I am using skins on my, on my ski, so, uh, and today was quite warm, uh, so I, I felt that the skis didn't have any grip during uphill, and then when downhill, I had some grip. So it was almost like stalking down the way, so uh, it was really tough all the way. Uh, but the final, the final hill was like a relief when I saw the finish line also, so I, I was like thankful. From the start it was really hard because I'm afraid of the speed in the downhills. Yes. So I think that the first 30 km at least were really, really tough. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I actually went slower downhills than uphills. Yeah. Um, but then uh, when I came to the 36, I managed to... Um, Past that section before the rope was pulled, yeah. uh, so I was happy. And then I started to ski a little bit faster, and they were a little bit uh, better to ring for me. Uh, yeah. And then I really enjoyed it. So the first 30 last kilometer was really, really nice. Yeah.